international asteroid warning network that will uh, uh, establish a campaign. Most importantly, during uh, December, on December 19th, it will come closest to Earth. On October 21st, 2025, a YouTube channel called Dobsonian Power uploaded what might be the most shocking space photograph ever captured. The image showed 3 i Atlas, an interstellar visitor that was supposed to be just another comet, but instead looked like a perfectly engineered disc-shaped craft glowing with its own mysterious light. Within hours, the internet exploded with theories about artificial objects from other star systems. Then came more strange incidents, mysterious orbs near the moon during NASA broadcasts, and unexplained objects on the lunar surface captured by China's probe. But here's what nobody's talking about. Are we witnessing first contact? What are these agencies hiding from us? And most importantly, are we actually alone? The space discoveries that are making everyone question what we really know. Something absolutely incredible happened on October 21st, 2025, that has the entire world talking. A YouTube channel called Dobsonian Power released photographs that many people are calling the most important space images ever captured by someone outside of NASA or other major space agencies. These were not your typical fuzzy dots in the night sky that amateur astronomers usually manage to photograph. Instead, these images showed something so clear, so detailed, and so obviously artificial looking that it made people wonder if we just got our first real look at a visitor from another star system. The object in these amazing photographs is called 3i Atlas, and it has been traveling through our solar system for months now. Scientists originally thought it was just another comet or asteroid from deep space, but what Dobsonian power captured was nothing like what anyone expected to see. The images showed a massive disc-shaped structure floating in the complete darkness of space, glowing with its own light in ways that no natural space rock should ever be able to do. The photographer made it very clear that these images had not been changed, enhanced, or digitally altered in any way whatsoever. What people were seeing was the completely raw output coming directly from the telescope. The structure itself was both beautiful and terrifying at the same time. 3i Atlas appeared as a luminous, perfectly symmetrical disk with incredibly sharp and well-defined edges that seemed almost impossible for amateur equipment to capture unless the object was actually producing its own light. The outer edge formed what looked like a perfect circle, while the center showed what appeared to be a shadowed cavity or opening. Faint multicolored light seemed to ripple across its surface in blues, reds, and greens, almost like energy was radiating outward in very controlled and organized patterns. What made this discovery so shocking was how completely different it looked from what scientists had been telling everyone to expect. Comets are supposed to be messy chunks of dirty ice and rock that create long trails of debris as they get closer to the sun. They should look chaotic and random. But 3 I Atlas looked manufactured, engineered, like something that had been built rather than formed through natural cosmic processes over millions of years. The precision of its circular shape and the way light moved across its surface suggested this might be the first clear evidence of an artificial object that came from outside our solar system. The reaction to these photographs was immediate and absolutely explosive. Within just a few hours of being uploaded to YouTube, the images were being shared tens of thousands of times across every major social media platform on the internet. People on Twitter, Facebook, and Reddit were calling it the most important space photograph of the decade, maybe even the century. Comments were flooding in from around the world, with many viewers saying the object looked exactly like a massive spacecraft rather than any kind of natural celestial body. The clarity of the image seemed to be better than even those released by major observatories and government space agencies, which immediately raised some very uncomfortable questions. What made the whole situation even more fascinating was how excited amateur astronomers became. People started setting up their own telescopes all over the world, trying to replicate what Dobsonian power 
had managed to capture. Online forums dedicated to space watching saw record-breaking engagement as people shared their own attempts to photograph this mysterious object. Some claimed to have detected the same faint circular form in their own images, though none came close to matching the stunning clarity of the original photograph. The excitement brought together professional astronomers, hobbyists, and skeptics alike, all united by a shared sense of wonder and complete disbelief at what they were seeing. But here was the really strange and suspicious part about the whole thing. These incredible images were captured exactly two days before NASA had scheduled a very important update about planetary defense coordination involving 3i Atlas. Earlier that same month, the International Asteroid Warning Network had added the object to its official list of tracked celestial bodies specifically because of its unpredictable movement patterns and strange light emissions. Several different space agencies had quietly adjusted their observation schedules to focus on this one mysterious visitor, which suggested they already knew something was very unusual about it. The most puzzling aspect was that despite having far more advanced and expensive equipment than any amateur astronomer could ever afford. Official space observatories had not released any comparable high-resolution images of 3i Atlas in recent weeks. The fact that an independent YouTuber could capture such clear and compelling photographs while major institutions remained completely silent led many people to wonder if these agencies were deliberately withholding important information from the public. Some began to suspect that the authorities knew much more about 3i Atlas than they were willing to admit publicly. This discovery quickly became a rallying point for citizen scientists and independent researchers who felt that transparency in space exploration was long overdue. Many people praised Dobsonian power for their commitment to showing the completely raw, unedited truth of what was really out there in space. The photographs had revealed something that challenged everything we thought we understood about what exists beyond Earth, and people were hungry for answers that official channels seemed unwilling or unable to provide. But the three I Atlas discovery was not the only strange event that had people talking and asking serious questions. Around exactly the same time, a very mysterious incident occurred during what should have been a completely routine broadcast about the beauty of the snow moon. U.S. news outlets had shared a NASA video that was supposed to highlight the stunning clarity and brilliance of the first full moon of the year, but viewers immediately noticed something that was definitely not supposed to be there. A glowing orb appeared just above the moon, moving slowly but steadily upward with a consistent, unexplained light that stood out clearly against the black backdrop of space. The object did not behave like any known aircraft, satellite, or piece of space debris that people were familiar with. Its movement was incredibly smooth and controlled, maintaining a steady glow throughout its appearance. But what happened in the very next frame of the video was even more suspicious and disturbing. The camera had been subtly panned downward, effectively cropping out the upper section of the moon and completely removing the glowing object from view. This change in framing seemed very deliberate and intentional, and sharp-eyed viewers were incredibly quick to point out what looked like an obvious act of censorship. Social media immediately erupted with accusations that NASA or the broadcasters were actively trying to hide evidence of what could be a genuine UFO sighting. Screenshots of the glowing orb flooded Reddit threads, YouTube analysis videos, and UFO-focused Facebook groups where theories spread like wildfire. The object did not match any known natural or manufactured phenomena, and its clean movement combined with that eerie glow only deepened the mystery surrounding what people had witnessed. What made everything much worse was the complete and total silence from official sources. NASA issued absolutely no comment about the glowing orb, and neither did any of the news outlets that had originally aired the footage. For many viewers, this silence was actually more revealing than any explanation could possibly have been. The complete absence of any attempt to clarify or follow up led people to believe that what was captured on video was significant enough to warrant 
an organized cover-up. These accusations of deliberate censorship are not new at all, and they stretch back decades to some of the most famous moments in space exploration history. One of the most frequently cited examples comes from Donna Hare, a former NASA illustrator who claimed during public interviews that she had personally witnessed photographs being systematically altered in a laboratory to remove objects that looked exactly like flying disks. According to her detailed testimony, these anomalies were routinely airbrushed out before images were ever released to the general public. Her claims, along with very similar accounts from other former NASA contractors and employees, paint a picture of systematic censorship that was specifically designed to hide evidence of unexplained aerial phenomena in space. The motives behind such alleged editing are hotly debated among researchers and the general public. Some people believe it stems from national security concerns and fear of widespread panic if proof of extraterrestrial life were suddenly released without any preparation. Others think the secrecy is much more calculated, meant to preserve technological advantages or because these objects might not actually be alien at all, but instead highly advanced experimental aircraft that were developed in secret military programs. Whatever the real reason might be, the pattern of sudden camera cuts, feed interruptions, and cropped footage during live streams from the International Space Station has convinced many people that something important is being deliberately hidden from public view. These accusations have only grown stronger with the rise of digital analysis tools that allow ordinary people to review and carefully examine NASA's extensive archives. Amateur researchers now spend countless hours examining footage from Mars rovers, deep space telescopes, and orbital cameras looking for evidence of anomalies that might have been missed or intentionally hidden from the public. The Moon has always been a major focal point for these theories about cover-ups and hidden evidence, and recent events have only added much more fuel to the fire. China made history by achieving the incredible milestone of landing the Chang-4 probe on the far side of the Moon, which provided some of the clearest images ever taken of the lunar surface that faces completely away from Earth. But among these groundbreaking photographs was one particular image that raised eyebrows and sparked intense debate across UFO research communities all around the world. The image in question showed the lunar landscape with remarkable clarity and detail, but in the background, there appeared to be a large disc-shaped anomaly that clearly did not belong to the natural lunar terrain. The object stood out very distinctly against the rest of the background, leading many researchers to conclude that it was definitely not a natural geological formation, but something far more mysterious and potentially artificial. UFO enthusiasts and researchers immediately began analyzing every single detail of the photograph, with many declaring it one of the most convincing pieces of evidence for extraterrestrial activity on the Moon that had ever been captured. What made this discovery particularly significant was not just the incredible clarity of the image, but the fact that it showed an object that appeared to be actually sitting on the lunar surface rather than just flying above it. Most UFO sightings near the Moon involve objects moving through space at various distances, but this appeared to be something that had either landed or been deliberately placed on the moon itself. This unique occurrence seemed to validate claims that had been made by certain astronauts who had reported feeling like they were being constantly watched during their lunar missions. The presence of such an object directly on the moon's surface added real credibility to decades of reports about strange encounters during space missions. It suggested that whatever intelligence might be monitoring human space activities was not just observing from a safe distance, but had actually established some kind of permanent presence on the celestial bodies that humans were actively exploring. For many researchers and enthusiasts, this photograph represented a major breakthrough that connected historical astronaut testimonies with concrete visual evidence that could not be easily dismissed. The concept of astronauts encountering unexplained phenomena during space missions is definitely not a recent revelation at all. These stories have been circulating for many decades, with numerous individuals claiming 
that astronauts themselves have witnessed very strange objects maneuvering through space during their expeditions. Some astronauts have even spoken publicly about their encounters, describing mysterious crafts that seem to maintain a watchful presence throughout their entire missions. One of the most famous incidents allegedly occurred during the historic Apollo 11 mission in 1969, when Neil Armstrong reportedly made reference to encountering other spacecraft while exploring the lunar surface. According to accounts that have emerged over the years, this communication was initially kept completely confidential but has since been disclosed, sparking widespread intrigue about the nature of these unidentified entities. The incident has captured imaginations around the world and led to various theories about possible extraterrestrial contact during humanity's very first steps on another world. These testimonies from professional astronauts carry enormous weight because of their credibility and extensive training. These were not casual observers or amateur stargazers, but highly trained pilots and scientists who clearly understood the difference between known aircraft, space debris, and genuinely unexplained phenomena. Their accounts describe objects that moved in ways that completely defied conventional physics, making sudden directional changes, hovering completely motionless, and accelerating to incredible speeds that far surpassed any known human technology. The advancement of consumer-grade telescopes and digital cameras has created a completely new era of amateur space observation that is producing an unprecedented volume of unexplained footage and photographs. Individual astronomy enthusiasts around the world are now equipped with technology that was once available only to professional observatories, and they are using it to document phenomena that seriously challenge our understanding of what exists in near-Earth space. Online platforms have become central hubs where these citizen scientists share their discoveries and collaborate on detailed analysis. UFO research communities have grown exponentially as people pool their resources and expertise to investigate sightings that might otherwise be dismissed or completely ignored by mainstream institutions. This collaborative approach has led to the documentation of clear patterns and behaviors that suggest organized, intelligent activity in space rather than random natural phenomena. The most compelling cases involve objects that display obvious signs of controlled movement and deliberate purpose. Multiple independent observers have captured footage of disc-shaped and triangular craft near the moon, often moving in perfect formation or exhibiting flight characteristics that exceed any known aerospace capability. The recent discoveries involving 3i Atlas, along with observations from space monitoring systems like 2i Borisov, C2025, R2 Swan, and data collected through programs like SOHO and SWAN, have created a perfect storm of evidence that something truly extraordinary is happening in our solar system. Each incident builds on the others to create an increasingly compelling case that we are definitely not alone, and that intelligence from beyond Earth may already be actively studying our world and monitoring our activities in space. Whether these phenomena represent visitors from other star systems, time travelers from our own future, or something else entirely different remains to be determined, but the evidence continues to accumulate at an accelerating pace that cannot be ignored. Thanks for watching another episode. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.